as we advance more online, you come at this point in time where anyone can be online pretending to be absolutely anyone, whether it's AV reasons or huge world issues like 9-11. And, you know, speaking specifically in regards to kids, because we do divorce and custody, children online who've been taken advantage of, harmed due to somebody pretending to be who they are. How can parents really protect their kids today? Pay attention. That's an incredibly complex answer because everyone's going to parent their kids differently, even as simplistic as when you have to come home. So there's layers that you can put in place. This is what I would tell anyone. The first thing is know what they're doing, which means have some sort of a way to keep an eye on what they're doing and also have a way to make sure you can turn it off. It's not as complicated as it used to be to do that. Some people say, oh, it sounds like you're snooping on your kids. I would say that's your job, but it's better, I think, to know. My kid went to playboy.com and sit down with your son or daughter and say, why'd you do it? Walk me through it. Number two, and I'm sure you tell this to clients all the time, talk to your kids. Explain what can happen. So I'll give you an example from our own past when our two boys, they're about two years apart. The older one posted a photo of his younger brother's face on Facebook and we kind of ran him through the ringer explaining what could happen and why not to do it. And he got it and never did it again. Today, I think the kids are savvier and they recognize predatory behavior in a way that I don't think I would have. Yeah, I think that it's incredible nowadays. So I have a two-year-old grandson, but his ability to navigate an iPhone where the age that kids are learning how to do things going back to when I started using a phone and trying mm -hmm. to figure it out and even today. And I think it's something that's really important as a parent to be aware of that your kids know more than you. And a lot of times they are going to be more savvy and how they utilize it as well as what they recognize. Open conversation is so important, but unfortunately it seems to be lacking a lot. And I think it's a huge problem within families, within relationships, probably within society.